rhymes, please stop the beef less than It's up right, joke up, I'm selling crap to the back Hey guys, what's up? It's Ruby. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another denim styling video. In today's video, we're going to be styling flared jeans. I've done a bunch of jean styling videos on my channel because I love wearing jeans. Probably my favorite things to wear and things to style because they're so versatile. You can style them in so many different ways and I'm a fan. I'm such a fan. So I've got a baggy jeans styling video and a mum jeans video as well on my channel I think so you can check those out I'll leave them in the cards and yeah so today we're gonna to be doing a flared jeans I know they can be a bit controversial flares in general some people don't like them some people love them I am one that loves them I feel like that they are a really nice retro kind of like vintage vibe which I always love so we're gonna be styling three different types of jeans today they are all flares but they're from different brands and they're kind of like different styles some of them have got ripped knees, some of them are like the different washes and stuff, so I thought it would be nice to give you a little bit of a variety of different styles and colours and washes, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the video! So for the first outfit I've gone for this sweater vest vibe and I feel like I kind of finally know how to properly style a sweater vest. I did really struggle at the start, TBH, but I know what I'm doing now. This sweater vest is oversized so I decided to pair it with a crop polo shirt and I love the little pop of pale yellow peeking out. I also love that this look works well proportionately with the flares in the bottom half of the outfit and the oversized vest on the top half. I've paired this look with a green bag and my Doc Martin Jaden boots for a little touch of edge. Alright, now we have done a complete backflip on the vibe. I'm ready for a fancy and fun night out in this look. My favourite part of this look is the pops of purple. From the boots to the bag to the top, a lot of lilac. We love that. These flared jeans are a low waist and dark wash, which I think works super well for an evening look when paired with some heeled boots. Also, now is a good time to know that I've considered an array of seasons when choosing these outfits, but mainly they aren't super cold weather appropriate because basically I'm just not good at dressing for the seasons, so yeah. On to outfit three, so these are the same flares as the first outfit. They are super high waist and have ripped knees and out of all the jeans we're styling today, they have the most exaggerated flared leg. I think these are amazing to pair with little crops, especially because of the high waist and they really elongate your legs. I've chosen this amazing printed crop from Elsie and Fred and paired it with a lime green cardi. Next up, we are moving on to a more casual look. Overall, I really like the colours in this outfit. You guys have seen me style this oversized denim shirt from the Lazy Oak in heaps of videos. I love the oversized and casual fit of it. I've chosen some white Nike Air Force Ones and a white bag to match the white in the top. Outfit 5 is a super simple and a really easy look to wear. I've paired a collared purple top with a pale lilac jumper and I love this detailing of the two layers. I've gone again for purple accessories including this adorable bag and my checked Vans old school sneakers. This is the kind of look that I would put together when I need a quick and easy outfit. As you can see, I'm really getting into the sweater vests. I love this one from Tucker Original. The orange and the little flower design on the back is so cute. Lately, I've been loving orange and purple as a color combo, so that's what I've gone for here. The flares I'm wearing are from ASOS, and these ones are the least flared out of the three we're styling today. So they are a good option if you want a little subtle flare and not too much of an extreme one. I've chosen a lilac bag and my platform Converse to finish off this look. Outfit 7 combines another one of my fave colour combos, pink and green. A little crop top and cardi is one of my go-to looks, so I've chosen this pink halter to go with my cosy green cardi. I'm wearing the same jeans as Outfit 6 and the style of these are very high waist, which is great for pairing with crops. I think these jeans look great with high tops, so I've chosen my Nike blazers and I like that the pink swoosh matches with my top and bag. <laughs> So here we have some 90s vibes. The Cardi worn buttoned up as a crop gives me Ashley Banks from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air vibes. Actually, I could imagine Ashley rocking this whole outfit for sure. I'm wearing my Nike shadows to add to the retroness of this look and a patent pink bag to match. For 
for a winter appropriate option, I've added my puffer jacket from Levi's. Lately, I've been loving wearing oversized shirts paired with a little crop. Basically, anything with a little crop is all I know how to do, really. Anyways, I've gone for this vintage orange shirt from Attica London. I really like how the orange looks with the blue jeans and I feel like it's a color combo that you aren't sure will work, but it actually does. The little blue butterfly on my tank and my blue mini bag also adds some pops of blue to the look. So we made it to the final outfit, outfit 10. I'm wearing the coziest knit from the Ragged Prace. This is one of my faves for winter. I'm back wearing my dark wash low rise flares from earlier in the video. And I think that these work really well with the knit. I'm wearing a long sleeve top underneath this knit to add some invisible layering. And I would also add my yellow puffer jacket if I'm going out into the depths of winter. My bag is from Melissa Shoes and I love the design and size of this one. And for shoes, I'm wearing my Nike Air Force Ones with the little mini ticks. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Depop, and Pinterest. Everything is at Pose and Repeat. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.